both Europe and the US have recently uh, released new frameworks for their monetary policy making that were driven in part um, to adjust changes in inflation dynamics over the past two decades. And really understanding whether there is now a change in dynamics again in the aftermath of the pandemic is of vital interest. A second reason is, you know, in response to the global pandemic, many countries are running a very accommodative monetary policy. And at the same time are running very expansive fiscal policy. And, you know, it's raised a number of inflation concerns among many, you know, you just pick up the newspaper, put, put a newspaper on your screen, you don't pick one up anymore. But if you, if you look at that, there's just so many reports of people being concerned about inflation and having to live with high prices. And the third reason it's very topical is that, you know, with the reopening of parts of the economy, we're all experiencing supply disruptions that are raising prices. Um, and they're again, raising inflation concerns. And the real issue is, you know, is that, you know, higher prices gonna lead to continuous rise in inflation.